Ladies and gentlemen, now we move on to our final fight of the night, our main event of the evening. So please welcome your first fighter into the ring from Romania, the Viking, Hamasio Hashi! This is it, folks. This is the main event of Golden Fighter Championship 7 the Netherlands versus Romania, revenge. This one is for the Golden Fighter Championship slash WKU intercontinental title in the light middleweight division, better known as the lightweight division, at 71 kilos. One of the top fighters from Romania, if not the top fighter in this division, the Viking, Amancio Paraskiv, has returned to his home country of Romania. I believe he now resides in the United Kingdom, uh, but he has returned home to Romania for this huge title fight. And it is the last of five Netherlands versus Romania fights. As I said before, earlier in the night, this fight could be a main event anywhere in the world in any kickboxing promotion. It's amazing that this is happening right now here in Golden Fighter Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Bucharest, Romania, Golden Fighter Championship presents three three-minute rounds for the GFC WKU Intercontinental Light Middleweight Championships. This is your main event of the evening. and one draw. Weighing in a 70 kilograms, he is a WKN, WACO, Super Combat and Kunlun Champion. From Ploiesi, Romania, he is the Viking. Seven 
kilograms. He is a KOK Grand Prix winner, a Glory Tournament winner, and a champion of the world from Amsterdam in the Netherlands, Christian Helios. Wow, look at Baia going right to work there with that big left kick coming out like a switchblade knife. You can see Baia obviously the taller of the two at 180 kilos, Paraskiv at 174! Oh my! Things really exploding here in this one. Boy, there was some serious tension between these two when they had the fighter parade in the, in the uh, introduction of the fighters before the event started. They were already jaw-jacking and talking some trash uh, when they were on the stage uh, this, this afternoon, at the beginning of this evening. That weird time, it's the summertime now, so the sun doesn't normally set until almost nine o'clock. One explosive minute already gone by in this fight. Oh, Pataskiv lands a couple of good shots upstairs. And these two, again, staring each other down right on the ropes there. Oh, my. We may not need to go the full distance, good God! Listen to this crowd in full effect here for Amancio Paraski. Oh, what a beautiful shot, and he landed right on top of him that time. And the uh, referee warning him about that. It looked like he almost gave him an elbow drop on the way down. A minute remaining here in a very turbulent opening round. Well, buckle up, folks. If this is what it's going to be like for the rest of the fight, things are going to get out of control sooner or later. And that's the way I like it. That's what I want to see. I want to see this thing get out of control. I want to see these two just tear into each other. Such an electric atmosphere here in the Rome Silva Sports Hall in Bucharest, Romania. Body kick goes in from Baia. And that is the end of round number one. Whoa! And again, these two getting in each other's faces. Well, I've just been informed here, and I it wasn't clear, uh, but uh, it's now been cleared up for me. This is a three-round fight. So even though it's a title fight, this is not five rounds. So that makes it a lot more important here, every round. 
Wow, look at that. I think I have Padaskiv uh, winning round one. Here we go, round number two underway here, the Golden Fighter Championship and WKU Intercontinental title is on the line here. It'd be with some kind of a joint uh, belt between Golden Fighter Championship, uh, who is the promoter of this event, and the uh, WKU, who is sanctioning it. Oh, Baya coming back here. Pat Eskeev says, is that all you got? I guarantee you Baya has more. Pat Eskeev is on point today, I'll tell you what. Pat Eskeev is one of these fighters who, you know, when he comes to work and he's prepared and he's on his top of the game, he's hard to beat, very hard to beat. But he's not always on the top of his game. That's the problem I've seen with him. But he looks to be ready today. More than ready. Whoa. Oh, my. Wait. Was that? No, he just slipped when he was walking backwards. And his right foot came out from underneath him. That's, that's been a problem all night long in that red corner. Nice low kicks. You can see that Baya really has a reach advantage here. Hasn't been able to take full advantage of it. But uh, when he has, it's working well. Paraskeev getting inside, having no problems getting inside and opening up now. Baya needs to get off the ropes. Oh, my. A great shot in return that time from Baya. Listen to this crowd. I told you that this fight is going to deliver and is delivering big time. Both men swinging wildly. Padaskiv is having his way with Chris Baez so far. I've got it two rounds to zero. But I will say this, do not, do not count out Chris Baia yet. I still think he's got a chance for the victory here, but he's gonna need obviously something huge. He's gonna need a knockdown or he's gonna have to end the fight. And it's certainly not uh, outside of the realm of possibility for him to do that. But right now it does seem like Amancio Padeski has Baia's number. Here we go, it is a scorchingly hot summer's day here towards the end of June 2021 in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And here we go, these two going back to war in the third and final round. Pataskiv 
The switch knee blocked by Baia. Baia still calm, still composed and collected. I think he needs to make this thing ugly. He needs to turn up the temperature here even more. He needs to get busy here against Potaskiv because he's only working with three rounds in this title fight. Nice push kick there from the left side. Looking for the right hand over the top. Oh, powerful, compact left hook there to the right temple of Pateski. Baya again slipping there. The ring seems to be a little bit slick. Both guys slipping now. Nice knees inside. Nice uppercut there. Coming up on about half the time gone by now in round number three. Oh, and Baya backs him up that time with the left hand. Looks like Pateskiv is a little bit less active now in round number three. He could be running out of gas, or he could just feel that even if Baya does win this round, he still has the fight. He's got to be careful, though, not to rest on his laurels. Oh, I've seen guys try to coast to a victory before and then get knocked out. Time slipping away, though, and I do feel that Pateskiv is ahead on the cards and that Baia has everything left to prove, and there's not much time left. And I think Pateskiv trying to eat up as much time on the clock as possible. Again hanging on. Referee having a hard time breaking him up, and he's really on the case of Pateski. Baia slips, and oh, look at that, a show of dominance there <laughs> by Amancio Pateski. And the 10 second hammer goes down, and it looks like this is the way that things are gonna, no, they're gonna have the ring mopped up here. I don't see any sense in that. Uh, you know, they're, what, they got the, the red corner there. Ismail Lant, they got him cleaning up the ring. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Somebody get a mop in there or something for crying out loud. There's only, there's literally like eight seconds left in there, but these two are sliding around so much in there, maybe it is necessary. All right, here we go. Final seconds. What's going to happen? Pateskiv coming alive now. And that's the way it ends. And still, these two taunting each other. All right. Well, I don't know. I think that Pateskiv did enough in rounds one and two uh, to get the victory here. Uh, round number three became irrelevant. Pateskiv very confident he's won this thing. By a Showing off a little bit too. It was a good fight. It was fun to watch. And uh, the, the judges now are going to do their work. And we'll find out what they think. Yeah, it's good sportsmanship here now between these two. Both guys having fun. Trying to get into each other's head a little bit. Uh, but settling it like gentlemen. Let's take another look here at some highlights from round number three. It was a... It was kind of an awkward round. I mean, both guys slipping, falling. Uh, in my opinion, nobody really got the better of each other in round number three. But, uh, well, I don't know if it'll make a huge difference on the scorecards or not. Ricky Wright is our ring announcer, and he has the official decision in just a moment. What is it? It's his birthday as well, it looks like. That's his wife there.
Well, it was a, a split decision after all. And uh, Pareskiv still gets the victory, and he has just captured the Golden Fighter Championship, WKU Intercontinental title. His wife is in there with the birthday cake. Well, and I guess this victory literally was just the icing on the cake. What a horrible pun that was, but, but a great fight. Nonetheless, interesting to watch in Pataskiv. The party is going on here in Bucharest. It's like Rocky won.